Hi, my name is Rob Parker, and I work with Statewide Multiple Listing Service and Rhode Island Association of Realtors. Today's video is regarding the new process that's been added into Transaction Desk by Instanet. It's an upload listing feature available for the single family property type only. Again, single family property type only. It allows you to add a listing input form for single family either as a standalone or into a transaction, fill out the form, and upload that listing into Matrix as an incomplete listing when you're ready to go. It's a very simple process. I'm going to show you a blank data form right now. And this is one that I have in a transaction, or actually it's a standalone form. So you can do it either way, inside a transaction or as a standalone form. And you'll notice up here in the right-hand corner where it says Upload Listing, this is a very important button. You want to complete it and click it just one time for each listing you want to add. So if I complete this listing, fill it out, go up and upload listing, it's going to give me an ML number as an incomplete listing in Matrix. That's important to remember. It's going to be an incomplete listing in Matrix. You still need to go into Matrix and make the listing active and also validate and update fields that do not get transferred over for a variety of reasons. Uh, there are some business rules that are associated with some fields that do not allow it to be added in uh, during the upload process, so you have to go and validate those fields, and I'll show you those in a second. So you're going to complete the listing form just as you would. Fill it out all the way down. Now, if you decide you want to partially fill this out and come back and do it later, don't upload listing till you're ready to say, I want to put it into Matrix. Because every, like I said, every time you click Upload Listing, it's going to create an incomplete listing in Matrix. All right. So if you make changes here, it's not going to update the one that you already have in there. It's going to create a completely new one. That's very important. All right. So I'm going to complete the form, and I'm actually going to go back into my transactions and pick out a form that I've already completed out. And as soon as it loads, you can see that I've got all the fields filled out. I've got the proper list date. You want to make sure that's correct, today's date. And then get down through all the forms and make sure everything that you need is filled out. And when you're ready to go, you're going to come right back up to the Upload Listing button. Click on Upload Listing. Now, while it's processing, and it very quickly happens very quickly, you can see that it gives me an ML number right here, 1177775. So if I click on the Upload Listing button again, let's say, for example, I make a change here to the expiration date instead of 1118. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make it the 31st of the 18th. So now if I come over here and Upload Listing again, this is not going to overwrite the first one that I put up to Matrix. It's going to create a whole new one. And you'll see that by the ML number. It's a totally different ML number. So once you've got it completed in Instanet, you can save that to your transaction, come back to it later if you want to upload it again. Maybe you made a mistake on it and you want to redo it here or whatever reason. You just, it'll be available to you again unless, until you delete it from the system. All right, so I'm going to go into Matrix now. And you notice, if you remember the last two digits on those numbers that we sent over, there they are right there, 7576. So I'm just going to grab one of them, and we're going to come in and validate. And this is very important because you can't submit it till it's completely validated. And what I do is I'll go down to the bottom, and I'll just click on Validate Listing. It tells me where my issues are, just like you're doing an input listing on your own in Matrix. So I'm going to get down here in this field, and I'm going to validate this one, fill it out, complete it, and then get down here and fill out the IDX. Zillow and Homes.com. Those are completed. I'm going to go back to this one here under Rooms. And I'm going to complete the rooms. In this case, I'm just going to delete those two just to make it a functioning listing. And I'm going to validate it again. Now, once I validate it, I have no errors. I can certainly come back here and submit the listing. Go and put the photos in just like a regular listing in, as you did it in Matrix. And it's completed. In this case, I'm just going to save it as incomplete. And that's the entire process for uploading a listing from Transaction Desk by Instanet 
into matrix. Simple process and hopefully in the future we'll have more uh, property types available for you, but for 